get it. Anything this guy does is okay with you. Why do you let him shove you around? You're a beautiful woman. You're talented. You're intelligent. You're everything a man dreams about. Why do you stand for it? Oh, Joe. Dear Joe. How can I tell you? We come to this town from Springfield and Des Moines and Fort Worth and Salt Lake City. We're young, we're pretty, and we're talented. All we have to do to get married is stay home. But the boys back home don't have what we want. We got our eyes on something else. A career, glamour, excitement. And this is the place to find it. So we come to New York. And we do pretty well. Not great, but pretty well. We make a career. We find the excitement and the glamour. We go to first nights. We buy little mink stoves. Head waiters call us by name. It's fun. It's wonderful. So one fine day, we look around, and we're 33 years old. We haven't got a man. Oh, surely you can... Mm -mm. Joe... Do you have any idea what's available to a woman of 33? Married men. Drunks. Pretty boys looking for someone to support them. Lunatics looking for their fifth divorce. Quite a list, isn't it? So we set our cap for Charlie. He's eligible. He's attractive. He's employed and reasonably sane. But you don't love him, do you? How did the word love ever creep into this conversation? Sylvia, there are worse things for a girl than not getting married. Name three. 